Hey there guys, 3D Print Dude here. Today I'm gonna show you how to add or create a custom filament profile in Orca Slicer. So step number one is to obviously open Orca Slicer. Step number two, load your print profile, your 3D print, what you're gonna be loading. Step number three is to click on the prepare tab and then scroll down to the filament section right here. And there's two ways to get into the custom filament section. You can click on the gear icon right here over in the right hand corner of the filament tab. Or what you can do is also click down on the drop down menu on all the filament choices the user presets and go to the very bottom and it will say add slash remove filament and these are all the filament presets in orca slicer chances are it grabbed all this data from what type of printer you pre-selected and then it tried to do a bunch of presets to predetermine on what you will mainly be printing but chances are that may be off and to add a custom filament profile click on the right hand side here where it says custom filaments you can see here these are my custom profiles of specific filaments and then I can click on create new then it's just gonna walk you through a list of questions like what vendor or what vendor is the filament from choose the brand if you can't find it you can click here and just custom create your own then it's gonna ask you the type of filament is it PLA is it ABS TPU etc etc and then just choose it then you can custom name it right here in the serial section so maybe it's just called um, classic chrome yellow I don't know there's so many colors then check the filament presets it's gonna ask you which nozzle to choose just so it knows the type of filament for the settings here then click on create and then it says this type of filament has been created that's how you add or slash create a custom filament profile in orca slicer hit me up in the comments if you have any questions and please subscribe